uh, hello let us uh, introduce uh, the working of a uh, half wave uh, rectifier let us see how we can construct the circuit using a uh, multi sim software so basically the circuit is consisting of a diode a transformer connected to the ac mains and output is taken across this load resistor so the ac mains in india is 50 hertz frequency and 230 volts and this is a primary of the transformer this is a secondary of the transformer primary is going to the mains the secondary positive is going to the positive side anode and the cathode is connected to the resistor so the purpose is here that when the power is switched on plus voltage appears here and negative voltage appears here so since diode is uh, acting as a switch here it allows current to flow through only in one direction so if this is your input waveform consisting of let us say one two cycles pi 2 pi 3 pi are the points where it is zero the remaining points it is high so when the positive half cycle of ac is passing through the diode it allows the current to pass through because it is forward biased so hence the voltage is developed across this resistor during the negative half cycle the diode receives negative cycle of the voltage hence it is reverse biased ideally speaking there should not be any voltage drop across this but there will be a small voltage the cut in voltage which is developed so this is an ideal case practically there will be small voltage that is developed and this continues for all the cycles here so now this is how the circuit is constructed you are constructing this is a transformer connected to this voltage here and then this is connected to a resistor and resistor back to this here you are connecting an oscilloscope and also a multimeter multimeter to measure the voltages you can also measure from using the oscilloscope so let us now simulate this run it and this is how you are getting you can see you can Uh, the red is connected to the output blue line is connected to the input if you want you can uh, you can see it better here uh, just pause it so blue is uh, giving you the input the full cycle and the red is giving you the output so output is present only during the positive half cycle and negative it is zero positive again it is coming so now to measure the voltages if you connect it here this is a dc voltage this is ac so what is it measuring you the ac voltage and this is the dc voltage so the calculations here involves like this for a half wave rectifier you vary the resistance measure the rms voltage and the dc voltage it is measuring you the rms voltage directly the ratio of this is your ripple factor what is the ripple factor the presence of see rectifier basically converts ac to dc component but still not the entire ac is converted to dc there will be some amount of dc ac being present the presence of ac in the output is what is referred to as the ripple so more the ripple the less its performance is as a uh, rectifier so let us now calculate this uh, once again the ac voltage is 2.43 so 2.44 almost and this is 1.9 so let's calculate the ripple let's take a calculator 
again ac is 2.43 so 2.444 let me take it as almost divided by what is the dc voltage 1.905 1.9 1 so the ripple is 1.277 almost 1.3 now let's increase this change the resistance to um 1000 ohms 1k is what you have taken so let me take 2k and simulate it once again the waveform remains the same 1.91 or uh, dc 2.43 so let's calculate 2.43 divided by 1.91 1.91 1.27 so like guys you repeat this experiment for different values of the resistance and see how your ripple factor is going to be different so let me take values which are less than this uh, let me take uh, 500 ohms mm. now what's happening 1.91 again 2.43 not much of a change let me start with 100 ohms and see what happens Two point four is AC. One point eight eight ohms is DC. So let me take two point four. So two point four one divided by one point eight nine. One point eight nine. So just so likewise, you complete this experiment, tabulate the results. for different values of resistance and study the effect of resistance on the ripple factor